Hi, Mark. How are you doing today? Good, good. It's fine. <laughs> um, okay, so you just wrote this cookbook, How to Cook Everything Fat. I have your original cookbook, How to Cook Everything. So, good book. It's a very good book. I love it. And um, for the new one, I just wanted to ask you is the experience of using this cookbook essentially the same as doing this? No. <laughs> Okay, uh, is it the same as doing this? No. Is it the same as doing this? No. Okay, uh, so explain to me, how is it different? This is about as comprehensive a book as I can conceive of doing. There are a lot of words in there and there are, um, there's a tremendous amount of reference material in there. In FAST, I really completely reinvent the recipe and everything is geared for speed. FAST is as big as this. It's also a thousand pages. It also weighs too much. It is a large um, book. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the whole idea is this seamless way of presenting recipes that really lets people get in, start cooking, and get out. At what point did you kind of decide that this was necessary, that there was this huge demand for people to make these recipes in less time? I mean, ten, I started thinking about it 10 years ago. It was clear that everybody was saying, oh, I don't have the time to cook, mm -hmm. which I don't buy in many people's case because it's a question of priorities. What do you have time for? But okay, let's address this issue, but while we're at it, let's address the issue of I'm afraid to cook and I don't know how to cook because FAST addresses those issues as well. When you're applying heat to food, some time has to pass for the food to soften or brown or whatever it is you're doing. Mm -hmm. During that time, experienced cooks do their preparation. They don't walk into the kitchen and say, I'm gonna get every single thing ready and then I'm gonna start cooking because if you did that, you'd be standing around doing nothing a lot of the time. And the recipe guides you through that dance as opposed to getting in your way of doing that dance. Okay. Where do you see this kind of encouraging people to do more at-home household cooking in bigger food system reform in the United States? 80% of the supermarket food is barely definable as food. When you cook, you shop for the other 20%. If you're buying the 20% of supermarket food that's real food, you're encouraging real agriculture. You're taking control over what you eat. You're addressing the public health crisis. You're doing all kinds of good. I want to work on and encourage other people to work on making all of those changes. But as an individual, the most effective thing you can do is cook for yourself. Amen. <laughs>